Okay, so I wanted to come on real quick. I'm sure this has been done. I've seen a lot of people use photo corners and stuff like Miss Janet over at RTS. I've seen several other ladies as well that like the photo corner look and I decided that instead of buying them, I'm gonna start using that branding strip or whatever and start making some photo corners. So I just finished making this layout for the collective and you can see here that there's some holly berries and then the other, it's double-sided so I can use either or and I've already made sets and these are kind of like pre-made these are sets of four and I use double stick tape and a bone folder some scissors the ruler and that's about it and I've already made them pre-made and so I kind of keep them together as a set and then I can use all four of them I've done some when from other collections and so whenever I just have leftover paper I'll go ahead and do four or two or even in this case I'm gonna make try to make two with this one strip that I had left over that wasn't enough to make four so so I don't know if these will actually come out because I don't think I've ever done them this short before but if you do them in a little bit of a longer strip maybe two two and a half inches that'll be good enough and you'll have some left over so maybe even two inches will work for you and this is less than two inches this is a one and a half inch so hopefully that'll work for us so anyway I'm gonna get started and I think I saw a YouTube video of having these done and I just want to center it and have it I'm going to fold it uh, with it ending in it ending up looking like this. So I'm gonna fold it. This is the back side. I'm actually going to fold this paper up. This is my middle and I usually put the ruler here so that I know that I'm folding the corner, the corner piece straight up and I use it to line up the edge of my paper with the ruler and then that way I know that it's pretty straight and I use my bone folder to fold it down and then I'll bring the other paper and fold it up and this is pretty rudimentary this is pretty self-explanatory but I just thought it was neat I saved myself three or four bucks a pop I've already made about 60 64 of these and it's really fun because now I can use the coordinating sets of paper that I have and I'm just gonna show you how to do this one so this is the back side and this is the front side and this will be your photo corner right here which if you try it out on a piece of paper it'll slip on just like that you can add glue or tape to have it stay secure or if you you don't want to secure down the paper into the, or the photo corner into the paper you can always do like I do and you can keep these tails or if you want them not to take up so much space I usually set the tape and if you can see here I'm gonna set it like this so you can see but I usually set the tape down where that paper is supposed to fold over. So where the edge of the, I hope I make sense here, where the edge of this fold is, that's where I put the top layer of the tape. I don't know if you can see that. That's pretty self-explanatory, right? So you can see here that that's where the tape ends is right above that fold. So the tape is like here on this side. And since this is tear off tape, I can easily tear it off. And then what I do is I end up cutting this edge. Like I just leave a little eighth of an inch or so. And then that becomes my photo corner. So then you do the rest of the four like this, and then you have a set. If they're double sided, you can do the other side and you can have not matching, but coordinating sets of corners. And I don't know if this is actually going to come out. So let's just see if we can actually make a smaller one using a one and a half inch strip. I've never done this before. This will probably be harder if you want to work with something this small, but we can see if it still works. And I wanted the blue side to show on the photo corner, so that's what I'm folding in right now. And you can actually, so you can even do this with a little one and a half inch strip of paper, although it's a lot more work, it's a lot more tedious, but it can still be done. And as long as you use that double sided tape to hold down the ends, then there should be no reason why you can't use this. So anyway, I just thought that would be a little fun fun share that I've been trying out. This one, maybe I folded it too hard or something. Or maybe because it's so small, it's trying to bend. I'm not sure. Let's try that again. But with these, whenever they tear like that, I do get some that do the crack, the paper cracks. I just add a little bit of glue there of the designer dries clear. And then I just fold the patterned paper down. And that's it. And that should more or less disguise that that paper tore. It really doesn't matter to me because this is a pattern paper and it's supposed to have like snowflakes so that really doesn't bother me. So I'm just trying to find a middle here and I'm gonna fold this paper up. I can also use the lines from my from my cutting mat to make sure that I'm going straight up. And that's my little share or take on these photo corners. If you have, I mean, I already have all these supplies and it doesn't take long to make them and they're a cute little different decorative element that you can use on your leg. 
layouts and they're real cute so there you go those are my photo corners and you can interchange them have different colors or just do one side and then do one corner with an embellishment i mean the lists are endless so anyway thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video bye